<laughs> Veron. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm great. Fantastic. I, I am saying that right, Veron, is it? Yeah, it's perfect. Fantastic. Perfect. Hey, thanks so much for this. No problem. It's, uh, it's definitely not as pretty here. It's Toronto. It's 11 p.m. cold outside. Oh, mate. It is um, 4 o'clock here and it's absolutely beautiful outside, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> um, hey, look, uh, I'm, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on um, with me and my school at the moment. Absolutely. Um, and, and maybe you can sort of offer some advice from there. How does that sound? Sounds like a plan. Perfect. Uh, look, I'm in charge of the ICT um, development within Albany Junior uh, High School. And we're very new, we're in the infancy stages of Google Apps and we want to learn more and we've got a large staff of around, probably around 80. Um, and that's just uh, permanent full-time teachers and management. Uh, so we've still got, you know, your part-timers and, um, you know, and people going in and out as well. So it's a large staff. Uh, we've got just over 1,200. Okay. And at the moment, um, myself and one other, are, you know, are reasonably um, useful with Google Apps ourselves. Um, but there's a lack stops there really, um, and the other teachers, <laughs> it tends to be something that's um, pushed to the side a wee bit, and we need a a way forward. And that's essentially why I've, I've contacted you. Uh, absolutely, and I can give you some information regarding our company, and then uh, I'll gladly show you the product. Perfect. Um, I spent the last six years at a reseller here in uh, Canada. Okay. Uh, so Microsoft, HP, IBM, um, and I had a little bit of a frustration. I had 20 employees working for me, and they would come to my desk and ask me very basic questions about Outlook. They right. would ask me how to do an out of office. Mm. And I'd say, okay, well, what did you do the last three years when mm. you left the office? Mm. Um, so that was a frustration for me. So I spoke with my friend who at the time was at Google. Um, and he said the same thing. He was in charge of the infrastructure in Canada. And he said, you know, Googlers don't even know how to use Google Apps. They're mm. coming to my desk all the time mm. uh, because people just know how to do you know, the most basic thing. Mm. Um, so we tried to, to look around and see if there's any solutions. And we didn't really see anything that was interactive and measurable and easy to use. Um, so then we came up with the solution. Okay. Awesome. So I will share my screen and you can take a look. Fantastic. You see my screen there? I, I can. Thank you, Varun. Yep. Okay. So the first thing you'll notice is, you know, most traditional training, you have to go to a separate portal mm. or you have to go watch videos. And then you have to go back to the application. Mm -hmm. So that's something we didn't want to do. Okay. Um, so we were actually able to embed the menu over here directly into Gmail and into Google Apps. Right. So if you want to oh, do wow. training, you can do it from directly in the system mm. using your own personal uh, emails and data. It's a live account. Did you so have to... to... Sorry, that, right. that's, that's quite amazing. Did you have to get permission from Google to do that or...? Yeah, so it's it's built as a Chrome extension. Okay. Oh, right. Um, and, we, and we work with a lot of the you know Google APIs, and we work with Google directly, but no, we didn't need to. Uh, it's built as an extension, so it's something you'd have to install, or you can uh, push it to all your staff and students via uh, the Chrome Management Council console. Okay. Um, so if you wanted to do a training, you know, all you would have to do is click one. So let's say we wanted to compose a new email. Okay. We can either click it or we can quickly search, compose a new email, and if the search searches through the, the titles as well as the actual captions in our training, okay. so it's easy to find trainings as well. So I'll click it over again. Oh, wow. Hmm. I think someone's making updates. Just bear with me. Oh, right. That's okay. Yes, that's fine. Okay. I'll make notes as we talk anyway. 
No, absolutely. So, sorry, I, I'm not sure if I, um, I didn't understand correctly. So, did you have to get Google to okay that as even as a Chrome extension or, or not? Or is that something that you've created in it, just like any extension? Yeah, it's something we, we did not have to get approval. Google has uh, the resources that you're allowed to build on top of their software. Uh, it's too bad. Just give me, just hold on for one second. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, no worries. No, no hassles at all. Do what you got to do. It's called Murphy's Law, isn't it? I can now, can Varun, yes. Okay. Uh, so it's great step by step. So um, the, the reason we kind of did that is that I, I know when I was a student, for instance, mm. um, and the teacher played a video, I maybe didn't really pay attention 100%. Yes. Um, so we want to make sure that you're actually learning the skill and you're not just going through the motion. No, it makes sense. Yes, I, I, I couldn't agree more. Um, how in depth does it go? Is it very simple things that your training covers, or does it get to collaborating on docs? I mean, do, what types of things? You know, Google Hangouts. What, what does it? What does it work? Which ones? Uh, it's definitely um, beginner, medium, and advanced. Okay. Um, so you know what I showed you was very basic: compose an email. Um, again, it, it gets into the nitty gritty of how to search, um, how to filters, how to do collaboration, um, how to create your own sites, uh, how to interact with everything. So in total, we'll have a, we have about 300 lessons. Um, 300 so lessons. Def definitely great for a beginner, but also valuable to someone that knows Google. Hmm. Uh, you know, for instance, you know, I obviously know a considerable amount, but yep. uh, you know, my co-founder who worked at Google hmm. knows quite more than I did. So right. even when I was doing Bug testing. I was like, oh, I didn't realize you can, in you know, add a calendar invite to an email. Just like small things that I wasn't even aware of. 
Right, okay. And is that, I'm looking at your team here, is that, is it Majid? Yeah, Majid. Majid, right, okay, right. All right. Yeah, so Majid is my co-founder, and then our VP of engineering, Alex, Alex is yes. also an ex-Googler, and he spent uh, five or six years working on Gmail and Google Plus for mobile. Right, okay. And and have you, I mean, I'm looking at, have you worked for Google yourself? Sorry, I'm not sure if you mentioned that. No, so I worked with a reseller that worked heavily with Microsoft, actually. Oh, right, okay, so the competitor. Yeah, so my experiences with Microsoft, uh, well, what I noticed is Google Apps is very similar, but I found that um, due to the price point and due to the collaboration, hmm. uh, personally, I found it to be a better value, and it's just something I see long-term being a little more successful. Right. I know Microsoft. Now, but, yes. Uh, and you know where I work, we were selling like million dollar EA agreements. Right. Um, Jeez. And it just like so much money for you know such a basic product sometimes. So, right. Uh, like they kind of focus on Google applications because I can see the growth there, I can see the value, and for me personally, I love collaborating on the dogs. Mm. Right. Like You know, prior I was going back and forth saying. Hey, I have revision 12. When you have revision 15, and now it's there's one document, mm. and I can just work on that. I couldn't so, agree more. You know, that's probably the one thing for me that makes my life easier is to yeah. collaborate with one version of, of a document. Fantastic, Ron. That's awesome. Um, look, I, I'm re- very impressed at the moment. Uh, Price-wise, I mean, that's always uh, straight down to the uh, nitty-gritty. What uh, what price are we looking at? What, what do you offer? Looking, Okay, right. Um, I'm going to have to stop you there. <laughs> We're in New Zealand, mate. We're, it's not even our GDP. It doesn't even go close. So, so I'll tell you, the pricing for education is actually really good. We offer it completely free for students. Yep. And then we charge $10 per user per year um, in regards to the employees of the, uh, the district or the university. So you, you charge $10 per user per year, and that's based on how many employees you have. Okay. Um, you know, we try to be totally, we try to be fair, um, and, and especially on the end that we offer for free for students, because we do, um, more than anything, we want to actually help people learn uh, Google Apps. Of course. That's our primary focus, and we think getting in student hands is a great thing, because um, they're the ones that are going to be using it for group projects and things, and they're going to be the ones that are going to be carrying our industries in the next few years. Mm. I don't want to offend you. Are you Canadian or American? I'm Canadian. Right. How big is Google taking off in Canada? Google is taking off fairly well in Canada, um, but our, our largest market is, is U.S. Right. Uh, we work with Google Canada here um, directly, and um, you know we have some relationships there. But you know uh, what I've actually found is Australia and New Zealand have huge adoption to Google Apps. Um, I've spoken with some of the larger resellers in Australia, for instance, mm. and it just seems like it's doing very well, even in terms of like education, government, mm. lots of companies are using Google Apps, um, and I think the US and Canada are starting to get there as well. Um, Asia? I, think the rest, uh, I feel Asia is probably lagging behind, um, but I'm also working, I'm not working with Western countries. Western countries mostly. Um, that's just typically what we're working because our product is also in English right now. Right. Uh, so if I'm, uh, you know, going to make the product for China, you know, Chinese is obviously some, something that we have to do, right? So. Of course. Uh, in, in com- companies is kind of our focus right now, mm. uh, but we are going to work on additional languages. You know, my guess is English is all you can. Yes. Okay. Um, and 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 yeah. Look, let's. That's really interesting. Um, have, have you thought about a, I mean, I don't, this is just me sort of ringing off, I'm just curious, have you thought about going into schools and, and actually working on a, on a one-to-one basis in periods of time, or is it always going to be interactive? I, I think we're looking at the scalable interactive solution. Uh, I think we're trying to help as many people as possible 
mm. without having to have a team of 500 people. I mm. think we're, I see tons of value in the one-on-one training and the webinar training. Um, I think the resellers do a good job of that, mm. but I don't think it's the full solution because people don't have access 24-7. Everyone has to be available at the same time. You're taking teachers and students out of the class to do training. Uh, and not only that, when you're only if you're only doing training during the beginning, um, you might only care about a few things. But let's say you're a student, and then you know two months later you're um, I don't know you're running like a club, like a, a cricket club or a political club. Maybe you want to make a site, and you weren't paying attention during the initial training. Mm. So you that type of information. Right. Is this your full time job, Warren? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So all three of our full time jobs. Uh, we all were working for big Fortune 500 companies for the last five, six years. Right. Uh, decided to do our own thing. We're very uh, passionate about it. And, Fantastic. Uh, it's, it's not going to work if we're not giving 100%. I already don't sleep as it is. You tell I'm doing a call at 1150. <laughs> if I go to, the, go to you know, a job tomorrow, I don't think I'd... Uh, yeah, fair uh, enough. Um, and how's business? Um, it's great. We have not officially launched this product. Right. So Okay. Uh, and so far, we have great buy-in from the resellers. Uh, we've got great buy-in from some corporate customers, and mm. it's, it's a lot of buy-in in terms of education as well. Fantastic. Um, and, and Google directly likes it as well, so we see a ton of promise with this. And um, you know, one thing they're saying is when we're switching people over from Microsoft to Google, you know, change management is so important uh, because everyone's grown up learning the Microsoft way of doing things. Mm. So it's very important that we can train people so the transition's easy. Mm. Um, and, the, you know, people that are saving money on switching on apps are using all the functionality as well. Mm. Look, um, Verin, I'm extremely impressed. Um, I think it's fantastic what you're doing. Um, what I need to do now is I need to go back and I need to discuss this. And hence why I ask so many questions, I need to put forward a presentation. Um, and that is my next point of call. So... What will happen from there is if that's accepted um, and your product is accepted, I will get in contact with you. Is that how you would like to do it? or? Yeah, that sounds good. I think there's one step we can do in between. Um, okay. First. Yep. Uh, I will be sending out uh, a demo version of the extension that you can play around with on your computer. Fantastic. Uh, but I'm sending that out to select customers and resellers. So cool. I can give you access to that. That way, if you actually need to physically show someone, mm. um, I know how this product works. Cool. Just seeing it for 30 seconds, yep. it's very easy to grasp it once you see it for about 30 seconds. Absolutely. Um, so I'd like to get that in your hands, and then if you can just keep in touch with me, and you know if there's anything else you need on my end, you need uh, me to explain any sort of details to anyone or show demos, like I'm up for the task. Oh, mate, that's fantastic. As I say, once again, I, I commend what you're doing. I think it's, I think it's awesome. Of New Zealand. Of New Zealand. <laughs> um, fantastic. I'll, I'll leave you um, to go to sleep, I guess. Uh, I don't think I'm quite there yet. So oh. I do have one question unrelated. You yes. Know, I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, of Lord of the Rings. Yes. Um, and I've been reading the books. Yes. And I've been told that it was filmed in New Zealand. Is that far from you? Or? Um, I'm from... Yes, well, originally I'm talking to you now from Auckland, which is yeah. at the top of the North Island. I'm from Christchurch because I've only just moved up here, um, which is in the middle of the South Island, and it's very close to Christchurch. Um, so the fjords oh, nice. is, is what it's called. So yes, I, I do know a lot of that area. Yeah. It looks, it looks quite beautiful in film, so I'm sure uh, I have reason to be jealous. I'm sure I'll do a, a vacation on your side of the side of the world at some point. Mate, you should. You should. It's a fantastic place. Um, look, uh, December wise, because it's hot. That's great, because it sucks. There you go. <laughs> sucks for you, perfect for us. So, yeah, absolutely. Come December, January, February. Look, it's still sunny now, and it's March. That's amazing. Yeah. Awesome. Sweet. Well, thank you so much for your time. Look out for an email for me April 1st. I'll definitely communicate and uh, help you get that extension installed. And, uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully, the value proposition is good for you guys, and, you know, we can uh, work together. Perfect. Thank you so much, Varun. All right, take care. All right, you too.